This is Fire on Thunder Peak on Epic Normal. So this is another raid. We're just running with three people and then uh, there's two dual boxes. And the basic premise of this raid is that uh, there's gonna be two dragons that are gonna come down and we are going to separate them and try to beat down each dragon. And uh, as the raid progresses, we'll, we'll be able to kind of beat this artifact down to weaken them further and eventually defeat them. All right, so I'm gonna the start the raid Meridian off. The stone sits in the middle of the open space. The dragons said to be guarding it are nowhere in sight. You just click on it, say reach out to touch the artifact. This locks the raid. And I'm gonna take this side. Chronovir's gonna take the other side. The cool Ideally, you want to cast her on the side the Chronovir's at. So we have him there just because he has uh, poison breath and some other castery things that might be a benefit. I'm going to take this to the dragon on this side, which will Not pop down a little bit later. The first and then Shyly is going vermin, to take care of our prize. Our was miscellaneous right. enemies that spawn. He continues. The artifact lured them here, and now we are the trap. Adventurers! A second dragon cries. It brought us their flesh to eat and their treasures to hoard. I'm gonna what get this dragon's attention master? and get him back here. Uh, Stay by my side, my heart. The second dragon says. The ward is strongest when we are near one another. the aggro of the dragon. Just pull him back here. The conjured shield fades away, though the ward that protects the dragons when they are close remains. Bellowing in rage, Tharaxada changes her tactics. So our dragon will be up in the air for a little bit and we'll come down. And now we have to kind of beat down these, all these skeletons. And then these giant uh, elementals. I think here. There we go. And we should get the dragons again. Never 
Alaric roars in frustration. I will use the stone meridian, he growls. Never mind Og Little Ross's orders. The meridian's power returns to Nalarich. So now Neville Arich has a bunch of uh, buffs on him, making him stronger. That's the other dragon. And once we get the dragon down to about half, we don't want to bring him down any further. Okay, so now we want to stop DPS completely. In a vicious frenzy, forcing power from the artifact. So for this next part, Shiley's gonna beat down the artifact. And we're gonna beat the dragon. The artifact appears to be Now we just want to. So now we don't need to really beat the dragon down any further. Just kind of get his attention. So Shiley's doing a great thing here, getting the elemental for me. So I can just keep the dragon busy. And at this point, there's really no benefit uh, to beat down the dragon because they get to be this. Uh, if they get down further, they get this like uh, buff. And it is invincible once more. And once the artifact is destroyed, they're going to be down to like five percent or ten percent, regardless of how much we beat them down. So we're just going to wait this out, and Shiley's going to take care of the artifact. So basically the shield goes down for that artifact you can see over there and then Shiley beats it down and then uh, it doesn't take very long and the shield goes back up again. So if you, there'll be a few sequences of that then we'll be able to beat the dragons. Dragons draw heavily on the artifact, and its shield shuddering from the assault. The artifact appears to reset. Its shield returns, and it is invincible once more. Should be coming down pretty soon. There we 
here we go. It's magic stretched to the utmost and battered. Okay, so now it's down. So now we just wait wait until their hit points to try to drop. You can see it dropping. And now we kind of beat them down at the same time. And now we just clean up all the uh, any magma brutes or other enemies that are around. And there's where the uh, dual boxes kind of stayed, and they did just fine over there. All right, and that's pretty much it. Let's see what we get for named items. So we get this um, Fire Dragon Phlogiston. I think your odds of getting this, it's bound to account, are probably about one in maybe three on normal. Uh, 13 Threads of Fate, five Dragon Scales, and 20 Thunderforged Swarm and Ingots. That's for crafting an item from here. Uh, 64 Thunder Peak runes. So uh, there are some named items that drop here as well. I think these ingredients are the main things that we're after. And that is Fire on Thunder Peak Raid with three people on, on uh, Epic Normal.